Hello everybody, and welcome back to another J.A. Diecast review. For today's review, we have Chase Elliott's 2017 Hooters Chevrolet SS. Uh, we're still on those catch-up diecasts where I have them, and I've, like I've had them, but I just haven't reviewed them. Uh, I have probably right around 10 more. Uh, a couple Chase Elliott, a couple Kurt Busch, and a couple Elliott Sadler. Uh, cars that I've had but haven't gotten around reviewing. So my goal is to get all of those done here uh, pretty soon so we can uh, kind of move forward and keep, or uh, not keep, but uh, continue to upload uh, new releases and maybe get more of those. But uh, So that's kind of why I'm doing all of these right now. Uh, you know, I've mentioned it in past videos, but if you haven't seen it, uh, that is why. Uh, but before we get into it here, just want to say thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out all the links down below. Like and subscribe. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, now that's all said, let's get into it. So we'll start here with the box, as we always do. Just the regular 2017 box. Uh, not a whole lot going on. But the production sticker, you got Chase Elliott. 2017 or number 24 Hooters and 2017 SS and one of 1,824. Out of those 1,824, I have number 1,083. So, a long way off from a, a door number or any sort of special din, but we'll get one eventually, hopefully. Um, so here is the full left side of the car. As you can see, got mostly white with uh, some orange on there. Orange highlights, really, but a yellow number, which kind of fits it on the top, but uh, kind of looks a little strange on the bottom. A uh, good-looking car, but definitely uh, not one of my favorite Chase Elliott paint schemes that he's run. Um, but, like I said, it is a pretty good-looking car. I definitely prefer his Hooters paint scheme this year. That one's probably the best paint scheme he's run. Uh, that one I want to get soon. Uh, it was just released recently, so I'm going to try and get my hands on it, and uh, we'll hopefully get a review of that soon. But let's start down the left side here. You got Moog, Melee, Comp Cams, Edelbrook, and Sunoco. Goodyear, NASCAR race car, Mechanics Wear, 3M, Coors Light Pole Award, Flowmaster, you got Chase Elliott on the name rail, Exalta, Bosch, Freightliners, Hooters, or Freightliner, uh, Hooters, Mac Tools, and Siemens, and you got Sun Energy One and Mountain Dew, Hooters, Kelly Blue Book, Valvoline, and Napa, and that's it for the, uh, the left side, I'm going to try not to take the box out here. Same thing down the right. Get it to focus here. We'll go to the front. This is the old SS noses. You got Chevrolet SS, number 24, and Hendrick Motorsports. You got Hooters on the hood. Get it to focus here. Nothing on the uh, windshield because as you know Hendrick was partnered with Mountain Dew and Monster is kind of a rival drink company so uh, there was no Monster stuff allowed on the Hendrick's merchandise. Let me get a peek under the hood here. There's inside. Underneath the hood you got Chevy, Napa Auto Parts, Mountain Dew, Kelly Blue Book, Hooters, and Wix filters. Take a look at the back. You got Valvoline 24, Hooters, and Politically Incorrect since 1983. It says, if you can read this, you must really love Hooters. So, and then you got Napa Auto Parts and Elliott. A look inside here. The fuel cell. 
but that'll about do it for this one. Uh, like I said, <laughs> doesn't want to focus today. Um, but like I was saying, it's it's a good looking car. Uh, the numbers kind of kind of a little weird, but um, good looking. It's good enough. Not one of my favorite uh, cars that he's run, but uh, that'll just about do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out the links down below. Like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.